So we have finished making our product. It's now time for us to start thinking about how to test it and see how successful it was. This is our D1 task, coming up with ways of testing. If you remember, we wrote some specifications in B1. You might have used Access FM, but you didn't have to. So we're going to look at the specifications we have written and think about how we can test some of the things we said we wanted to achieve. For example, some of you for aesthetics might have written something like, my product will be appealing to teenage boys. So we'll think about how to make a survey to see what they think. We need to come up with at least three different tests that we can do. You must explain them like a science experiment. So you give these five points here, the aim of the test, how you're going to collect data from the test, how you'll know if the product was successful or not, and the method as to how you're going to do the test. And then how will you make sure that it's a fair test? You also need to explain how you will know if you were successful from the results on the test. So to give you a short example, thinking of the example we talked about earlier with the teenage boys liking the product you made, the aim of your test will be to find out if the product that you made has successfully met the aesthetic specification that you wrote in your B1, the specifications of being appealing to teenage boys. Then you're going to say what data you're going to collect. So in this test, I will create a survey that is given to teenage boys I will analyze data on how many boys were teenagers and the number that state they liked the product. So this is the data you're going to collect. Then to know if you were successful, you will say, I will consider my product to have been successful if I found that 75% of teenage boys said they liked the product or would use the product. The method of the test, so you're going to write the steps here. So it'd be like this step one, I will create a set of questions on Google Forms, for example, that will be non-leading and focus on aesthetics of my product. Then step two, I will do, and you're going to list all the steps that you would do to carry out this test very clearly. Five, you're going to explain how you'll make your test fair. So you might say something like to ensure reliable test results, I will create a set of non-leading questions as shown from this particular website. This will make sure I don't influence people's answers. This is called interview bias. I learned about it from whatever. Okay, so you're going to explain how you'll make sure that the test is fair. And that is all you need to do for your D1. But we need to do that three times. So you need to come up with three different ways that you could test your product to see if it is successful. If you want to go through this again, rewind the video and have a look again. Or you can pause it at any points that you need to spend longer reading or looking at. I didn't read it all out. 